Howdy folks, I want to take this opportunity to show you just how one of the emails works for phishing. It's really cool. So the one that you're looking at here is an email that was reported as phishing. It didn't actually get caught in quarantine uh, for a couple of reasons. Number one, the attachment that you see here isn't actually malicious. There's nothing malicious about it. Uh, no macros, no uh, malware, anything like that. So that got through. But let's take a look at this thing. So I have my throwaway machine here. I'm going to show you what this looks like on that. So here's what it looks like. So if you open up that attachment, this is what it looks like. It's a photo that's been pasted into an Excel spreadsheet. And in that photo is a link. You can see it says, hey, you want to view that attachment, which in this case pretends to be a, a remittance or a, an invoice or, or something like that. But you can see the, the link there. It's that app.mockplus.com. Well, that is interesting. So what happens if you click it? Let's find out. So I'm still in my throwaway machine here. And I've taken that URL and I've copied it over to this um, sheet. And I'm going to plug that in to my special browser here, which is connected to my Zap application, which gets between the browser and the internet and takes a look at the traffic that goes in between. So I'm gonna paste that into the browser here, and I'm gonna hit enter, and let's see if we can see some traffic. Let's take a look at our Zap app. Traffic's gonna show up down here and also up here. Let's see what happens. It does take a little while. It makes you think that it's thinking, right? So, but it, what it's actually doing is communicating here. And you can see that's the URL that we punched in. So it sent that request. We got something back. It's still kind of churning and churning. You can see that churn in the background. Pretty crazy. Well, that's cool. So it says, okay, that's the document that I want to see. Great. So let's go ahead and click on that and see what happens. I might, let me show you uh, what we have here. Oh, still communicating there. All this stuff's going back and forth. Let's click on that, see what happens. It's thinking, is it gonna send the traffic? This is so cool. Oh man. Oh, here it is. Oh man, that looks familiar. So we can see it's reaching out. That's actually an Amazon, uh, might even be uh, like S3 bucket or something like that. But it it's reaching out uh, to that Amazon and it looks like it's an Outlook sign-in. Very sneaky. Let's see what happens when we put something in there. Let's do this. And we'll hit next. See what happens. No traffic right now. Okay, let's put a password in. Okay, and oh, looks like we've got a little bit. Let's take a look at that before I hit sign in. So you can see right here. This is actually sending traffic to chukgreens.com. And you can see right here, this is the email, if you recall, test at test.com. That actually got sent, even though it didn't look like anything got sent, but it did get sent to this bad guy's website. So let's go ahead and hit sign in and see what happens. Makes you think it's thinking here, what's going on? What are we going to see? Man, this is fun stuff. Ah, interesting. Okay, so the website is saying, hey, your password's incorrect. Well, that's crazy because I know it's correct. Well, let's take a look at what happened. Ah, that's interesting. So this is the password that I punched in. It actually sent that over to this weird non-Microsoft uh, website. Uh, URL and now guess what they have my username and now they have my credentials so they can log in as me in uh, In Outlook or in Microsoft 365 or whatever. So that's pretty cool. 
And then if you just keep going, you're like, yep, I know I got it right. Or maybe you retype it, you hit sign in again. It's going to resend it. Wait for it. It does make you think that it's thinking. It's very sneaky. Yep, there it is again. It's sent the same thing. And it gives you a, you know, hey, you got the wrong password. So if you try the I forgot my password thing, it doesn't even do anything because at this point, it doesn't care. It does not care. You hit the reset now, doesn't do anything because, again, they've already got your credentials and they don't care. So that's how that works. Uh, stay tuned and we'll check out some, some different kinds of uh, phishing emails and see how they work. Hope you enjoyed that as much as I enjoyed doing that. Appreciate it. Have a fantastic day.